Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna make something very simple, easy and fun, okay? We're gonna model a spoon. Like I said before, I mean what I said now, spoon, okay? Now let's hide the camera and the light. Press H to hide or you can just delete it. For me, I'm just gonna, I prefer to, well, maybe delete it would do. Let's just delete it for a while. And if this is the default cube, view, no, 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 not that one. Go to edit mode. If you have the uh, enable auto mirror, if you don't have the auto mirror, you should go here, go to the preference. Oh, where is it? There you are. And you should enable it. The add on. You can search here uh, auto mirror. Oh, oh, auto, auto mirror, and there it is. If you don't, if you don't have it over here, you should enable it. Okay, it's very helpful. Okay, back to the default cube for our spoon. Actually, let's scale this down a little bit. Scale let the oh no in object mode. Scale at three x. I mean, yeah, something like that. Go to a top view. Press seven for top view. Okay, if you're on PC and you have a numpad, press three. I mean, I should actually I should go to this first. Okay, I press three for this. And I do face mode, go to here. Okay, now I'll go to a uh, seven top view. Make sure to en enable snapping, guys. It make it actually make the uh, make it very handy to do. Grab now, grab that to the what do you call it? To the Y. Yes, Y axis, not the Z axis, because we're on top view now. I want to make it longer, maybe something like that. Yep. Yeah, looks good. I'm gonna press three for side view. What is it side or right? Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's uh, look at make sure to disable this first. I'm gonna make my uh, spoon a little bit funky, something like that. And press three for face mode. I mean, I'm, I'm doing some adjustment here. I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really, uh, this is just an adjustment, okay. You can do that if you want to. That depends on you. Now, let's see the our well. That looks good. I press seven. Let's make the uh, the what do you call it? Something that we put it in our mouth. This yeah okay. This is the handle and something for scoop. Okay. Let's enable this again. The snap tool. Let's to the something like that. Scale at three x. Note that if if you scale it, snapping won't work. Okay. Now right, let's just do it again. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna scale it to the X again. I'm gonna make it bigger. Got a big mouth there. Do that to the Y. And let's do that to the Y. Scale it to the X. And let's do it again to the Y. It depends on you how you want your spoon. Okay. Scale it to the uh, X there to make it round. Uh huh. That's how we want. Maybe something like that. Maybe something not. Okay. Now let's make this uh, this one. Oh, I'm gonna go to a press two to go in edge mode. Let me go here. Make sure don't don't uh the snap tool is uh, disabled. I'm gonna make some few adjustment here. Grab that to the Z Something like that. This one. Oh, this one. Grab that to the Z. And this one, oh no, this one. Uh huh. That is that. Something like that. And you should your spoon should look like that. Okay. Now, if you want, add a few loop cut to make it uh add some little bit more character. I mean character. I mean shape. Okay. I'm gonna add over here and this one. Okay. Now I'm gonna make to the top view. Scale it to the X. I'm gonna make it smaller till here. Okay. This one, scale it to the X. And this one too, scale it to the X. Something like that. That looks quite cool. Okay, now let's enable the subdivision surface. Go to here, modifier, subdivision surface. Am I too fast? I don't think so. Maybe I am, but I just don't know. <laughs> now the level viewport, increase it to two or three. Or if you want more detail, I mean, more more smooth 
Where's the four? If your PC can hold it. Well, mine can hold, but I think three would do too. Let's go here. Yep, you got something like that. Looks like a little bit spoonish, but way too flat over here. Now let's go to face mode. Select this three. I mean, this four, okay? Now let's... Uh, let me try this. Insert. Oh, before you... Uh, Let's throw it again to the z-axis. Make sure this one, the insert key. Turn off the boundary, okay? Uh huh. Now that would work. And let's you can extrude it to z. Like that if you want. Me, I'm just gonna grab that to the z. To z. Okay. Something like one. Come on, my liking. Z. Something like that. Or oh, somebody can cut get the soup on it. <laughs> but rice would do. Okay. So that's my spoon there. Not fit for well, what do you call rice or anything? I mean spoon. If you want you can destroy it again. I mean insert to get some shape over there. Okay. Yeah, that looks that's how I want it. Maybe this below need a little bit more down. Now go the edge here. Wrap that to the Z, make it a little bit, well, wait, we go, this one only, grab that to the Z, this one, grab that to the Z, something like that, okay, might be look weird, my spoon here, but there are lots of spoon shapes, so, well, this is my shape, <laughs> now let's uh, select the, uh, the spoon, and shade, shade smooth it, okay? Look at that, look at that. Very beautiful. For a plain and boring color there. <laughs> now let's do shading. Before, let's not apply that first, okay? Let's go to shading. Go to object mode. Select, make sure that one is selected. If you want to use color ram on this, then you can use color ram. For me, I'm just gonna use the metallic. I mean, I'm gonna increase the base color first. I mean, the silver, okay, silver, silver spoon, okay, and the metal, I increase it to one because, well, spoon is shiny, okay. Specular, if you want it to be more shine, then increase it, okay. I'm gonna increase it to there. Roughness, well, some spoon, uh, like that, and some I like it, a glass one, but for me, I'm gonna need the glass, so I'm gonna increase the uh, decrease the roughness a little bit, something like that. Might be look like glossy, but it's actually metal. That is reflective. <laughs> okay. And now that's that looks cool, but maybe you can add some other stuff on it. Let's add a bump. Okay. Uh, Shift A to add a vector to add, go to the vector and bump. Let's zoom it a little bit. Connect that to the normal. Okay. Now let's add the texture. You can add whatever you want, guys. Whatever you want. Whatever texture you want depends on you. I'm gonna try mm, maybe Vornoi. Vornoi? Vornoi? Yep, Vornoi. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Vornoi, distance to the height, okay? Oh my gosh, what in the world is that? It's shattered. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna increase this one. Random. If you go like this, well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Ooh, that's sure that's gonna hurt your lips there. It's uh, we need strength decrease. Just a little, okay. Um, I don't feel like. I don't think I like this, but it looks cool. But I don't like it. So, delete the Vernoy. That's at my favorite. The ma, not the magic. Ah, sorry. The noise texture, mmm, very good. But the fact, well, we only need a little bit, but we need a detail. I mean, if you increase the detail, that's something like that, like grainy shape there. That's what we need. What I need. <laughs> and the roughness, if you want with even more detail, increase the roughness to this. And don't like to add dust, something like that. And just something like that. Scale, that thing I need. Nope, I don't need. Maybe I need 30,000. Yep. 
30,000 would do. That's yes, the roughness. And the most important part is the strength. Let me increase that. Oh my god. That's yeah, glittery. Let's decrease that to. Hmm. That looks quite good. And my spoon, yeah, it just looks weird because my spoon can't even holding a soup, something like that. <laughs> but that's how I made my spoon, okay? And yeah, that's how you make your spoon, guys. You can adjust the lighting, the camera, and the base. Depends on your liking, okay? For me, I'm just gonna stop here because I, I don't wanna waste your, your time. <laughs> So that's how my spoon looks like, okay? Same as same as the fork and the knife. It's actually the same technique if you want to do make a fork or a knife, okay? So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. What am I gonna make? I don't know. We'll find out later, okay? Bye now. See ya.